Hi, my name is Nick Caruso, and today I'll be giving you a demonstration of how to use knowledge package files to repurpose a workflow across many capture components. So I'm going to build a workflow here for auto capture. I like calling my workflow C auto capture, and I'm going to run them every three seconds. And so I'm going to do auto capture, and let's say I need to OCR documents, and then I want to send it to a folder. So I'm going to use multi route to, to configure my folder. I go ahead and save that, and I have a folder here I've already created called KPF Training or Knowledge Package Training. I'm going to create a file, a subfolder in here called CFG, and I'm going to go ahead and use that to save my KPF. Let's see KPF Training version one. Okay, so I'm now going to go ahead and configure my workflow. So. Um, Convert to PDF. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and configure my OCR settings. I'm going to say yes. Get rid of the original image. It's going to be a PDF. And uh, I'm going to make this, using the fast recognition settings, makes it go a lot faster at only a little bit of the expense of the quality of the output. So let me configure my output destination. Call this output. I'm going to use the original file name. I'm going to add a counter to it, so underscore counter, and then the extension, which will be a PDF. Um, I'll go ahead and create that directory. I'm going to click OK, 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 and I'm going to go ahead and start my configuration. All right, so my configuration is now started, so I can go ahead and test this out. So let me open up another window here so we can see both of them side by side. Okay, so I got my samples folder here and my output folder here. I'm going to go ahead and on this timesheet, I'm going to right click on it, send to convert to PDF, I'm going to hit OK, and it should go ahead and process the job and pop in here in just a second. So if uh, what I can do, if I want to if I want to see the status of the workflow as it's being processed, I can open up status monitor and uh, let me resize this so you can see it and I can check to see the status of it so it's probably already done because I was as I was talking I, yep, here it is so here's that document here and I can see now that it's a fully searchable PDF right so no, no problems there now what if I had a more complex workflow and I wanted to break this up so that I could um, take advantage of maybe I'm reading a barcode, doing zonal OCR, maybe doing some database lookups, and I want to repurpose that workflow for other capture components, and how can I do that? So the way to do that is using what's called knowledge package files, um, because maybe I have another need to interface maybe from a RICO as an example, or what other, other component. So if I had to go to a RICO here, where's my RICO? Right, and I would it would be pretty frustrating if I had to rebuild my entire workflow just for my Rico device, and and especially if that gets really complicated. If I have to again, if I'm having different settings for SharePoint or a barcode reading, there's no scalability. Like you can imagine, if now I want to add on web capture or another capture component. Um, so how do you do this? Uh, so the, what you do is you want to create another step in here which I like calling um, P or R for routing um, to folder or it could be to SharePoint whatever you want it to be and what that's that's going to do is it's going to watch a directory of internal auto store files called knowledge package files and then it's going to OCR the document and I can replicate the workflow here so I'm going to be separating out my capture stage to my process and routing stage um, so on my capture side here, I'm going to get rid of my OCR, and I'm going to create a knowledge package file using knowledge package builder and send it to a temporary folder. So um, the capture component just creates the this XML knowledge package file and sends it to a folder, and then this guy will then pick it up and OCR it and send it to its final destination, which means that I can have another capture component or multiple capture components here feeding this um, folder. 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to delete delete this task so you can see a little bit more in stages. I'm going to go into Auto Capture here, and I'm going to basically enable activate this um, Knowledge Package Builder, which is nothing more than an auto store file. I'm going to say Embed Document. Um, so I'll put the image in this XML file. Um, include the field values. And I'm not going to go into too much detail in Knowledge Package Builder, but I could click on Remap Fields to remap any fields that are coming in from the Capture component. Actually, maybe I'll, I'll do that. Um, delete the original. And, uh, and then I'm going to specify a temporary location on the network where to put these files. So I'm going to put um, key knowledge package file share, let's say. So I'm going to specify where to put these temporary files. Um, so let me actually add a, let's call it maybe um, PO number. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. OK. And hit save. So what's going to happen here is it's going to go through the workflow, create an XML file, and put it into a temporary directory. So let's go ahead and see that workflow in action here. So it's not going to go to the output folder directly. It's going to go to this KPF share. So if I go back to my samples, right click, send to convert to PDF, PO number 1234. Let's do a couple of these. Yeah, number five six seven eight. So you can see here it's it's creating these what are called knowledge package files. So these knowledge package files are are zip files, and if you open them up, the zip file contains an XML file and your original document or documents. So like your scan job, and uh, you can in fact you can unzip these zip files so you can see what's going on in there. So here's my uh, XML file. If I open that up so I can read it, it's a it's easily read XML file. I can see in here the uh, the image and the metadata I had entered in before. Um, so this is pretty neat in that you can imagine you may have auto capture sending files to this temporary location. You may have a capture comp another capture component like web capture. You may have um, a multifunction device. You may have NSI mobile. What, what, but the, all those capture components are all feeding this common directory. So what we need to do now is we need to configure the process and the routing to pick the to pick up from this directory. So I'm going to go back into AutoStore now, and I'm going to pick up or create a new task called. Um, R2, and it could be, you know, you can name it whatever you want. I like saying R2 and whatever it is. It could be SharePoint, it could be Documentum, whatever you want. But I'm just going to send it to, I don't know, uh, R2 output, let's say. Run every three seconds. So I need to configure my knowledge package loader to pick up that from that directory. And Abby to OCR the document. And send to folder. That's my final destination. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. So I want to put, point it to the directory that we're placing these knowledge package files in. I need to specify a working directory, so a temporary directory, so as it's processing, it'll move them in there, and then maybe a reject directory of where you need to go. I'm going to click on Include Field, so I will include these these meta, any metadata fields that are in this XML file. So I'm going to cl click on Include Fields, and now I'm going to configure my process and my routing. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Yes. Pass through. No. PDF. Turn on the fast, and send it to its final destination. So the final destination being the output directory here. Now I want to put the file name in here. Whoops. And a counter. Now maybe I want to name the file based upon the PO number in here. So one area that's a little 
um, that we're working to improve on right now is normally if you click on I'm sorry you couldn't see this off screen normally when you click on knowledge package loader you um, you would click and drag the PO number from here but knowledge package loader right now has no context of it could be it could re be receiving f files with all sorts of different metadata in it so we have to we, but we know we anticipate there's gonna be a P number PO number coming in there so right now you have to type this in by hand and normally what I do is I just use the author as an example and I know it's going to be PO number and then you just need to also know that you need to surround that with uh, percent signs. So I'm going to click OK, OK, OK and go ahead and restart my config. Now as soon as I restart my config what's going to happen is it's going to pick up these these zip files in here these knowledge package files and process them one at a time. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make a backup of these because I want it. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and hit restart. We can up, open up Status Monitor as well, and we can go to R to output so we can see what's going on there. You can see it's already picking up these jobs, and uh, one at a time processing them, it's OCRing them, and it's putting them into the output folder. And you can see it was, it was naming it by the PO number. So what's nice is I can go back in here, go back into the backup directory, and I can actually do unit testing here. So let's say I wanted to change this. Instead of converting it to um, a PDF, I wanted to convert it to Word or whatever, or you know, there was some sort of setting I had to do. I wouldn't have to rescan them. I've got a I've got a, a unit snapshot in time here in the in the workflow, and I can just um, move these files back in here, make my change to my configuration, retest without having to rescan my job over and over again. What's really nice about doing it this way is I can I can test this step of the workflow completely separate from the capture component. And so when I'm ready now, let's say I want to add C Rico or C Konica Minolta or whatever. Right, so I can go in here. I can go to my Konica Minolta component, and all I have to do is add that knowledge package builder, and then the send to folder. Now, in this one, I use multi route. You can do. You probably would want to use multi route as well because maybe you're down the road. You'll be using sent email for another workflow. But I can create a workflow here. Scan PO. And I'll put a field on the panel of the device. PO number. Knowledge package builder. Activate. Embed document. Include field values. Delete original. If I want to automatically import these fields into the, the XML file, I can click on remap fields. Or what I can also do is I can do it manually in here. So I could say PO number and drag that in there. Which is helpful is because maybe you're com going to combine two RRTs together. Um, so PO number and then I just simply have to state the directory that, that KPF share where to put it. So I'll put it in there give it a random file name and now I'm done so so I built a, a a process and routing workflow separate from my capture components if I just open this up so it resorts it what one of the benefits of, of prefixing your tasks with like the letter C is all your capture tasks will be on the left hand side and all your process routes will be on the right hand side. So you can see here I've separated out my business logic from my actual capture stages. Um, what's really powerful about this is that I can create a duplicate um, process and routing uh, tasks down here that are the exact same as this one watching the same folder so I can actually have multi-threads running to process those jobs. Additionally if this was a network share uh, a true network share instead of a C drive it would be like slash slash a network share. I can have multiple auto store servers watching the same network share to start um, processing uh, multiple loads at the exact same time in a distributed environment. So that's really, really powerful. 
Um, so we, we have that with plenty of customers. They may have 20 auto store servers uh, all running at the same time. And there's also intelligent ways that you can do do things. And I'll do that as a follow-up video. Um, but but also from a distributed environment, you can um, have you can start doing some really interesting things. So imagine you have two auto store servers, and I'm going to call this one uh, uh, server A. Okay, and I'm going to call this one server B. So imagine that. Server B is on a physically a separate server, and server A is, a is on another server. Uh, I'm going to do a quick training on this, but I'll, I'll do it more advanced training uh, in the future. But let's say I'm going to do auto capture, knowledge package builder, and server A is on its completely se separate side of the country. And what I can do is I can send that knowledge package file via email, via uh, could be a folder, could be a web service, or whatever. Uh, but I'm going to be using Secure FTP if I can find it. Where is Secure FTP? Sent to database. Am I just not? Where is Secure FTP? Well, let's just do FTP. Um, all right. So I'm going to send that knowledge package file over in FTP, and then on server B, what I can do is I can do an FTP capture. And then I can do a knowledge package loader. And then send that to its final destination. So I can split up auto store workflows across different geographic locations. Hopefully this has been helpful. It's, this is a great tip on how to split up a workflow to take advantage of these knowledge package files. And it's great for unit testing. It's great for um, testing before you get into a customer's environment. Uh, there's just a tremendous amount of benefits to it. All right. Well, thank you.